So the flight we're going to tie today is Keenan Jenkins' Cormorant. I think there's a bit of dispute about where the flight came from or who created it, but when it was introduced to me, it was introduced to me as Keenan Jenkins' Cormorant, so that's what I've called it ever since. <laughs> So the hook I've got on the vise is a size 10 barbless wet fly for Rio hook. The thread I'm going to use is just some UTC 70 in black. And all we're going to do is come down and build a small little body. And then I'm going to take just a strand of medium pearl mirage tinsel. Work that down. and then work it back up. So the vice I'm using today is a Cadan vice, as I mentioned. This is a company that build vices in Wales. It's a very small company and they haven't paid me to talk about this vice. This vice I'm actually using right now is a friend's and I asked them if I could borrow it to do a review on because I'm that impressed with the quality. The vices themselves are bespoke. You can have your name custom engraved on it. You can have an icon, you can have a flag on the anodized base. So, by jumping back into the fly, next step is just build a small body with pearl miler. And how I would fish this fly is quite simply on um, on a sink tip, etched back on a washing line or straight. So you'll notice there slightly that there's probably Myla stretched a little bit. I don't personally think it matters that much to be honest and I'm fine with it staying there. So next up is some um, black marabou. So some people on a cormorant prefer the, the plumes to be the sharper end and some people prefer thicker. I don't really, really mind either to be honest. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I've tried both and had equal success. So I'll take about an inch and a half with the plumes Wet the end. And then catch those in. So if you're interested in this vice, I'll leave the email address for the company in the description below. Um, there are two models to choose from. There's this one, which I think is the Pro one. Um, and one of the differences with the Pro one is, is that it comes with this knob here. Um, which is, is helpful, it's great if, you, if you're if you used to having a knob at that point in the vise. Personally, I'm comfortable with the large knob that's here, just because that's how I intend to work. Um, so, wet the front, get it as thin as possible, and then come in and just take this away. And build a small little head and then come back down a little bit. Okay, now with this tail I want it quite short, so I've just come in, rip it off. There we go, perfect. And then for the thorax, I'm using some Hens Spectra 93. It's basically like a chartreuse for SE yellow. It's very, very bright. So if you fish Elodyne, this is a fly for Elodyne if any is. It's really successful down there. And not many people know that or fish it. So, just come in, wrap that around nice and neat. And then just take a black hackle. I like a hen for this, but you could use a cock. And you don't have to be fussy here. Catch that in, a couple of turns. Take some hackle pliers and then just two turns. And I just bring it back up the front a little bit. Here. And as long as it's in tight, take away the hackle. Pull everything back, 
bar the stalk. Build a nice little head and then come in with the stalk off. And then quick whip finish. Cut that away. And then just a touch of varnish. So that is the fly, that is the vice. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.